Hey everyone, Solid is here. Welcome back. So, with the recent game update, which is version 1.4.0, I've been getting some pretty impressive results with the new in game DLSS frame generation. Although, it did take a bit of tweaking to really dial it in. So, what you're seeing here is the game running only with a DLSS frame generation, which you can turn on using the Deki frame gen plugin. I'll walk you through everything in a bit. The game is set to high settings and this is basically how it performs with the default in-game frame generation without any tweaks. With higher settings like this, the game just doesn't perform well enough even with the frame generation turned on. I can still feel a lot of stutters and the frame rate drops down to around um, the low 30s which honestly I don't consider it playable at all. Sure, you could lower the settings to make it run a bit better but come on. Lowering the visuals that much can sometimes take away the best part of the experience, especially in this game, because it is a beautiful looking game, for sure. And so, here comes the best part. After some tweaking, here you see it is running exactly with the same high settings, and the difference is just night and day. There's nothing much to explain here, you can clearly see the difference, no stutter, and the frame rate is significantly boosted. Input lag is mostly gone now with the NVIDIA low latency option. Big open areas in isometric view like this, on average it gets around 50 to 60 fps. And areas where we get much closer camera or third person view, I get pretty much a locked 60 fps. So without a doubt, this is absolutely the best performance you are going to get and yet another reason to enjoy Expedition on Steam Deck now more than ever. To achieve all this, we are going to need a couple of things. One is Jackie from Gen to enable the in-game DLSS frame generation and also lossless scaling. Yes, we still need LSFG, but we are obviously not going to uh, use the frame generation option from lossless scaling, which I will explain more shortly. Now, let me show you the installation process and go over some very important tweaks along with my personal recommended settings to make the game look like gold on Steam Deck. But please, make sure to follow along closely because if you want the exact same result, every step matters. Let's dive in. Start with Deki Frame Gen. Now if you go to Deki Loader Store and search for Frame Gen, here it is Deki Frame Gen and the version says 0.11.10. However, let's go to desktop mode and if we check the official GitHub page of the plugin, the latest version available is currently 0.11.13. So, we are going to download this one instead. Also, if you don't have LSFG plugin installed, um, download it from the GitHub link. All links will be in the description box. I would also recommend sticking with the stable release of plugins in general. Uh, rather than the pre-release versions. You know, it is just safer and more stable that way. Unless of course you are a little crazy like me and always experimenting stuff, uh, then sure, go ahead. Alright, now let's grab a mod which will give us a nice performance boost. But don't worry, it don't cause any noticeable visual downgrades or change the graphics at all. It is basically like free FPS, some kind of voodoo magic. The mod is called the Definitive Performance Mod and it is from Nexus Mod. Since we are going to use DLSS and it is also a very good idea to update the upscaler uh, to the current version. This not only improves visuals but can also give you a small performance bump. The process is super easy. More details are explained in this section. You can read it if you want but all you need to do is click these provided links and download all 6 of these DLL files. Copy and replace them in the games directory where these DLLs are located. We'll get to it. Now that we have got everything downloaded, let's move on to installation. All these files should be sitting in your downloads folder. Now let's open it up. Here they are. To keep things tidy, let's put all these 6 DLL files into a separate folder so they don't get mixed up with everything else. 
let's rename it something like update DLSS XSS. Now open Steam and right click on Expedition, go to Manage, click Browse Local Files and here is the game installation directory. From here we need to go to Sandfall, Plugins, Nvidia, DLSS, Binaries, Third Party, Win64 and here are the two NVNGX DLL we are going to replace with updated version we just downloaded so let's copy both nvngx dll from downloads folder and just paste and replace great now let's do the same for xcss just click here expedition 33 and we are back to root folder now click and open engine plugins marketplace xcss binaries third party win64 and all this will be replaced with these four DLL files. Alright, step one is done. Next step, install the performance mod. First, we need to find where the game keeps its save files. Go ahead and click on home from here. Now, if you don't see this .local folder in here, that's because it's hidden by default. Just click on the three dash menu up in the top right and hit show hidden files that should make it pop up now let's double click and open it from here go into share steam steam apps compare data every game has a folder here with its app id and for expedition if we check the game properties from steam the id is right here it's 1903340 and here it is double click it open pfx drive c users steam users app data local sandfall saved config windows yeah finally we are in the right folder now let's grab the mod i'll head back to downloads folder right click the performance mode zip and extract here Now we have a lot of folders here but only one we actually need is steam deck dash q this folder which is folder number seven for the rest you can just ignore i'll just delete those inside it we have two dot ini files copy this and paste them into the save directory we just opened here now this is very important we need to make both of these files read only so just right click go to properties then permissions and set them as read only if you skip this the game will just delete the files and reset it back to default the next time you launch it so yeah definitely don't miss this step all right we are almost there all we need is install decky frame gen and lsfg so let's head back to gaming mod The installation process is same as usual, open the key and click settings, developer, browse, then downloads folder, click and install dekiframegen.zip. Now click dekiframegen, from here just click set up optiscala mod, install lsfg by following the same steps and once both plugins are installed, open dekiframegen and click copy patch command, go to the game's properties then paste that command into the launch option. Next, open LSFG. Copy its launch option. Go back to games launch option and paste it. But make sure you delete the extra percent, this one, because we should only have one of these at the very end of the line. That's it, now both plugins will work together as one combined command. Finally, before launching the game, make sure you have set compatibility to Proton Experimental. In my test, the game performs better with this. And with that, we're finally ready to launch the game.
Now here is my performance tab settings. I have frame limit off and manual GPU clock set to 1400. Now this part is a little tricky to explain but basically I have found that locking it to 1400 makes the game feels much smoother while exploring open areas but during combat bumping it up to 1600 feels a bit better. Might give you a couple more you know average FPS. So I'd say try both settings and see which one you think it's doing best. And here's my LSFG config. We are not going to use the frame generation from LSFG itself as I mentioned earlier since we have the in-game frame generation turned on but because we launched the game with the LSFG command all the other settings you see here are still injected and functioning in the game which really helps eliminate every stutters and lags. So once you set everything the way I have it here you don't need to touch LSFG again and it will keep doing its job in the background. And here, in-game graphic settings with high preset, DLSS is set to quality, frame gen is on, low latency is set to boost, borderless windowed, gamma is set to 0.8 which is totally optional but uh, personally I found it helps with better black levels and nicer overall color blend on my LCD screen. So try it and see how it looks for you. With high settings, the game looks absolutely stunning with, with no stutter or major lags at all. It's very smooth. But of course, you can easily lock it to 60 FPS if you drop the settings a bit lower. For example, setting DLSS to balance rather than quality and have the game preset to medium settings, it will pretty much lock it to 60 FPS. But we now have plenty of performance headroom, so I wanted the game to look its best while you know still running really well. And this is the best balance I found uh, between performance and visuals. I also plan to continue this as part of my ultimate performance guide series and the next one will cover Hell is Us which has been running really well for me so far which is why I need to make a video about it. So keep an eye if you are finding it useful. Okay, this is it. Hope more people find this video. Although my channel is very small <laughs> still. But if this guide helps some of you to get a better experience with this game on Steam Deck, that would make my effort a success. Yeah, if you run into any issues or just want to reach out, feel free to drop a comment. See you in the next one.